It's playable, but from the looks, there's nothing great. No, for sure. I, I completely agree with you. Yeah, they could have easily done at least a pallet swap for Hook. <laughs> yeah. For real, like, why didn't they? <laughs> I mean, then again, we could sit here all day and talk about things they could have done. <laughs> could have done a lot. <laughs> Peter Porn and the Neverland Pirates. What have you been playing, Jim? What's been going on in the game room over at your house? Another door back in this Konami and sounds on for sure. Like being for real, dude. You know what I mean? Can't expect fucking greatness all the time. Plus, you have to understand, like back then, um, there had to be games for really little kids too, man. You know what I mean? Because that was a big thing about video games being extremely bad and not good for kids. You know, you could give a kid something like this and they'd be fine, dude. You know, those parents could be at ease, right? Knowing that, okay, my kid's not playing something that is super bad, you know? That's kind of how I always think it. People always say, that's what Hook should look like right there. No, but uh, people always say, oh, Daniel, you know, you're just giving excuses for NES stuff all the time. Yeah, because it was a different time, though. You know, so when you say, oh, this fucking PlayStation game doesn't do this or doesn't do that, even even looking at, like, PS1, because they should have done better by that time, dude. Games are getting, you know, the developers are getting smarter, and they learned from all the mistakes from some of these games. But back then, they hadn't made those mistakes yet. You know what I mean? So they didn't know. It's all trial and error, dude. Knowing what people want out of a game and what not, you know. I've been playing Persona 3 Portable. I know RPGs aren't your th really your thing, damn, but I'm enjoying it. Nice, man. It's cool. <laughs> Killed him while I was in the cage. No, that's cool, man. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. What's up, Rich? Dan's entertaining even if you're not watching him. I have been in my own world editing and listening to Dan. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, Peter. Peter North, though. Peter, Peter. Pumpkin eater. 
No, I'm glad, dude. You got like 19 people watching still. It's really cool. Glad you guys are here. That's what happens when I start a little bit sooner. It's a big difference when I start at like 12 and then when I start at like 10. I get so many more people when I start at 10, dude. Not that that's what I was targeting for, but I knew with me having time to play, when I seen what time it was, I was like, oh, okay, I should be, I should be, I should do pretty good tonight, audience-wise. So it's always interesting to stream at different times and see, okay, this is how many people I get at this time, and blah, blah, blah. Like I said, not that it's seriously ever about that. I don't really, how do I say this? I care. Because I like hanging out with you guys, but I don't really care about the success. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't really number crunch my stuff and go, man, I need to get 20 people today. <laughs> That's definitely not what the fuck I do. <laughs> I just go, what game am I going to beat tonight? It's <laughs> pretty much how it goes. He's even better on only dance. <laughs> oh, no doubt. So, Jim, you, you think you'll ever get back to streaming, bro? Or are you just kind of like, eh, you know, I'm, I'm better off. At, I'm having more fun not doing it. You know what I mean? Is it just something you don't really want to do anymore? Or you think you do, but you're like, ah. When I took time away from it, now it's kind of hard to get back into it. And I'd rather just not, or... If I get this no death run done, guys, we'll probably, I'll probably go ahead and call it just because I'm going to relax for a little bit and then go to bed. We'll see what's really hood, though. I'm, I've considered starting later once I get back to it. Nice. No, if you, it is, no. For you, it is what game have people never heard of or hate I will play tonight. <laughs> uh, kinda, but it's, it, I don't try to do that. Um, that is actually not intentional at all. Um, what it is, brother, and this is not to sound fucking stupid or cocky or anything like that. He, here's the thing, man. When it comes to the popular games, I've already beaten them. That's, that's the problem. I've already, I've already, I've been on YouTube now for about four or five years, dude, and I've just been doing this the whole time, and I'm getting to the point where I've beaten all them games, like, I've beaten everything I've wanted to, so, it's incredibly hard for me, damn, to find games that, like, I still need to beat that are really popular that everybody likes, you know what I mean, like, I've beaten all the Castlevanias, dude, I've beaten all that stuff, you know, so it's, I can't choose that, you know what I mean? So that's, that's honestly the real uh, problem with that. I think my dog needs to in. Nuggy! You want in Peyton's room? Here. Come on. Hold on, he wants He wants to go lay with my son, so he was scratching at the door. Have you uh, beaten Yo Noid? Yes. No, if we, uh, oh geez, W, my bad. I actually fell asleep earlier tonight and then woke up at it, so I was a haze. Uh, I've beaten popular stuff too, so I feel you. A bit of what you described, being 
got pretty big into PSP, and most of that stuff would require multiple streams, so I haven't been considered consistent enough to do the series. Meh. What's up, Brian? You show up for the games. I show up for all the butthole talk. <laughs> Brian just comes out of fucking nowhere. What's up, dude? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I mean, that'll never stop. That, that we repeat and we keep saying. <laughs> I'm here for the bull. I'm here for the butthole talk. You probably missed the talk about the stream earlier, the talking about um, at the concert, the Rex Viper concert, where the guy farted. <laughs> you probably missed that. <laughs> I'll say, here the hardest part is, where can I step? Where can I fly at? So if we die here, it's probably going to be because we fucking don't know where we can go. And it's annoying. I don't go for that one. <laughs> he just died. <laughs> like, how'd that motherfucker die? Try to shoot me out of the air, bitch. You tried, but you failed. Oh. Dude, I'm fucking bullshit. Bro! I just wish he'd stop acting like a douche. I'm gonna bang a dude. I'm gonna fuck a dude. A dude, a dude, a dude, a dude, a dude. Sword fight, bitch. No pixie dust. Hey, gotta be careful here. I'm gonna slam my dude all damn day. I'm gonna slam my dude all day. I'm gonna slam my dude. I'm gonna slam my dude all day. Da 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 da. Oh. I wonder if I need that. So to be very careful right there. I'm gonna bang a dude. I'm gonna slam a dude. I raided during the fart talk. <laughs> I have a bunch of any of the stuff I still intend to stream. Heavy Barrel, Legendary Wings, Low G-Man, Shadow the Ninja. Damn. That's an awesome lineup. Waiting for a controller in the mail for Resident Evil. Nice. But see, that's exactly my problem. Heavy Barrel beat it, did no death run. Legendary Wings beat it, did no death run. Low G Man, I've beaten it. Shadow of the Ninja beat it, did no death run. You know, like everything you just named. You know, what I mean that—that's my fucking problem, dude. I just—I've been around for a while now, streaming, dude, and I've just gotten through things, you know. So it's—I have nothing else unless I just start repeating shit, but I don't really want to, because there's still games I want to play. I just haven't gotten to them, but a lot of them are like Excalibur 2049. Like, I didn't know. Like, if that game was going to be bad, I just had to try it, man. Sometimes you can try games, dude, and they're fucking amazing. You know what I mean? And nobody knows about it. And you're like, holy shit, guys, this one's good. You know? Especially me, I'm I'm very tolerant. I I feel like with games, like. I can handle a lot of shitty ass stuff and be like, yeah, this isn't that bad. Where most people, would, most people would say is bad. I can say, hey, this isn't that that bad, you know. So a lot of I can I can make good out of a lot of very bad games. It's okay. I missed 
Tinkerbell. Why do you do that? I missed. Damn. Why do you do that? I feel like wasting my pixie dust by doing that. Like, no offense, bruh. I think that's where I died last time, so. We've officially made it further. Dude, what are you doing? Can you stop doing that? Please? You're like flying when I'm not wanting you to, brother. Alright, last level height. I'm gonna bang and I'm gonna fly. What do I do? Yeah, same way for a troller. Oh shit, Beer Eye Fighter, that you got me. Gotta stream that one. Yup, I've beaten that and did no death run of that too. Dan, I have a happy news. I just beat Super Mario Brothers. Nice, dude. Nice job. Or I pick something I think you should be breezy and just get my ass kicked. Rainbow Islands. Yeah, that game... Nathan played Rainbow Islands a little bit. We haven't modded. Uh, and he is classic. And I don't really want to own that one. I didn't like it that much. Am I having fun with Peter Pan? Um, It's fine. You know what I mean? It's fine. It's honestly just not that bad. It, it's fine, dude. Honestly. I mean, it's not good, right? But it, it's not that bad. It's really not, dude. I swear to you. It's playable. You know, I'm sitting here doing it. If it was complete garbage, I would have beat the motherfucker and, and turned it off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, Excalibur? Yeah, I'm not going back to that. That game sucks, dude. The only, thing, the only thing that sucked... I shouldn't say that. It doesn't suck that bad. But it's like... The things that are bad about it, like those boss fights, are really bad, dude. It's really bad. I mean, I will say this, though, about Excalibur. They definitely... It felt good to beat it. You know what I mean? Like, they... they they made it difficult enough to where you were celebrating when you beat that shit. Because it's hard. Um, you know, it was not an easy fucking game, that's for sure, dude. Those boss fights were just brutal, dude. Fucking brutal. Unfortunately, though, it was definitely one of those things of hard for all the wrong reasons, though. You know what I mean? Like, it was not a good uh, difficulty. It was terrible. Very bad. Very badly done. Could have been a ridiculously good game. But they completely botched it. Had so much potential. That's no death run. Get eaten, boy. No death run, dude. What was that reference in the end of this? It's so fun to be Peter Pan. <laughs> well, there it is. Excalibur seemed like a difficulty game from cheapness. Yep. How about playing the black cart and blue carts? Wonder Tree. I've done... Um, I've do I beat all the games on... Uh, <gasps> Bible Adventures. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, I did all. I did that. I don't really have a lot of those. I mean, keep in mind, it has to be something that I'm like, okay, this is playable. You know, like I bought this game, and I remember seeing E.C. Myers play it, and I didn't bother looking it up or anything like that, though, because I remember him playing it, and I was like, okay, I remember it being okay, so I can deal with it. Um... 
But okay, a game like Rainbow Islands, I'm not just gonna play it to play. Like I'm not trying to pull like a Mexican runner here and just beat every NES game. Like I don't want to waste my money or my time on stuff I seriously don't like. You know. Um, the thing is though, if I start something, well then I kind of want to finish it even if I don't like it. Um, but usually I look into it and I look up gameplay or or whatever. I watch somebody stream something. And I go, okay, cool, I want to play this, you know. So I, I only want to buy games that I'll actually play, you know. Um, and I usually do, man. I usually make my way through them. So and we took took care of two games tonight, you know. But uh, it's so much fun being Peter Porn. For real this time. Thanks, man. Death Run plus no death. Half Death Run. <laughs> Yeah, it's two no death runs tonight, man. Holy cow! Uh, I I would play Master Chew and the Drunken Who. Yeah, I I would play that game. That game looks good enough. Um, I would definitely mess with that. Nugget appearance. Hey, Nugget. Hey, sweetie. Why are you so wet? Hmm? Hey, Nugget. Hopefully, Tim's here. Nuggets here for you, Tim. He's a good boy. He is. Yes, yes, you are. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yes, you are. Okay. Are you happy? You got your no death run. Yes. I love my doggy. <laughs> I love my chuggy. Hey, chuggy. Yeah. You're a good boy. You gotta get up there. This is where he sits. So when I'm, ow, when I'm not streaming.